Hey everybody, I'm Lloyd Chatfield and this is the Business Law Bootcamp. Today we're going to try to answer the burning question that we know you're asking yourself right now, what exactly is an outside general counsel? But first, our standard disclaimer. This video is for informational purposes only. This does not create an attorney-client relationship or constitute legal advice in any jurisdiction. Legal advice is what we do, but we don't do it through free videos on the internet. We could ask you to sign a 10-page legal document accepting those terms, but that's not really how we operate. So what is an outside general counsel? Well, for most of the history of lawyering, the predominant model of providing legal services was the traditional law firm. There are something like 50,000 law firms in the U.S., big and small, specialized and generalized, local, regional, national, and global, good, bad, and indifferent. I've had the pleasure of working for, with, and across the table from hundreds of law firms, including some of the biggest firms in the world. There should be no doubt that most law firms are really good at what they're really good at. In my experience, some of the key attributes of traditional law firms are the following. Law firms are generally the best source for specialized and highly complex matters. Law firms typically charge by the hour. Whatever work you hire a law firm to do, it will almost invariably be billed out on an hourly basis. And when that matter is over, you'll get a bill based on the number of hours it took to complete the project. Law firms usually utilize a tiered service model. Typically, a senior attorney oversees one or more junior attorneys, paralegals, and support staff, and they take a team approach to delivering legal services on a project-by-project -project basis. If you work with a big law firm, you'll likely have one partner helping with corporate matters, another helping with HR issues, another for strategic transactions, etc. In my experience, law firms are typically designed for large projects, and many simply are not set up to deliver those one-off, five-minute consultations or to field day-to-day -day legal questions from you and your team in real time, or to consistently deliver legal support on a timely and cost-effective basis. Think about it. If I charge you by the hour, I'm not very incentivized to develop efficiencies or to provide the five-minute consultation that gives you a clear, simple solution to keep your business moving. And with a law firm model, you and your team may be reluctant to even ask the question, knowing that one phone call is adding incremental legal expense to your bottom line. As I said, law firms, are really good at what they're really good at. Over the course of the 20th century, more and more companies opted to hire full-time in-house counsel rather than rely solely on traditional law firms. According to a 2016 Harvard Law School study, the increase of in-house counsel was driven by two primary factors. First, economics. Company leaders started to recognize that in-house counsel, free of the pressure to bill hours, could instead focus their efforts on the company's top priorities provide a more holistic approach to managing the legal function, and develop efficiencies to handle large workloads and meet tight deadlines without adding layers of staff. The second factor driving in-house growth was substantive. Companies began to recognize that dedicated counsel who are embedded in the business often provide better legal services and help achieve better outcomes than hired guns who might handle one or two big projects and then disappear. Before founding Outside General Counsel, I spent more than a decade as an in-house attorney and general counsel for several public and private companies, and I am a big proponent of the in-house counsel model for companies that can justify the expense. A good in-house attorney will almost always justify his or her salary through reduced outside legal spending and improved business outcomes. However, finding an attorney with the experience and judgment needed to perform this job at the highest level usually means you can expect to have a fully loaded cost of $300,000 a year minimum and a lot more in major markets and big cities. An outside general counsel is a hybrid model. We operate much like an in-house attorney, meaning we take a holistic view of our client's legal affairs and work to build an outsourced legal function tailored to meet the unique needs of your company. That all starts by developing a dashboard that provides an overview of the critical areas of focus for your legal function. This is a sample dashboard that we create for our clients. If you look at the top left bubble, corporate governance, we handle your outsourced corporate secretary function. We handle your board of directors. We handle finance and treasury support. The next bubble over is commercial M&A. This is typically the bread and butter of what we do. We help you with mergers and acquisitions and business integration. We help you manage strategic alliances, your sales and service agreements, and your general commercial and real estate matters. The next bubble is human resources. We typically work with our clients, human resources teams to manage employment issues from hiring to firing, discipline of employees, employee handbooks and policies, comp and benefits, and immigration. The product supply chain is where we work with your purchasing, logistics, and manufacturing team to make sure they have the legal support to get done what they're getting done. 
Compliance and regulatory varies company to company, but we help all companies have ethics and compliance policies and training. We help manage regulatory affairs, EHS, and document retention and control. We also help with intellectual property. We help you identify what your intellectual property is, your patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. We help you manage those and ensure you're protecting your intellectual property. Finally, dispute management. It's almost inevitable your company will find itself in litigation or in claims, and we help you manage those to provide optimal outcomes. For more than 10 years, my practice has been almost exclusively dedicated to the outside general counsel model. We have developed an efficient, cost-effective service model that can be scaled and adapted for any number of clients. Here are some of the key attributes of the outside general counsel model, at least the way we do it here. Number one, fixed cost. We operate on a fixed monthly fee basis. The fee is obviously based on an estimate of the amount and complexity of the legal work required, but invariably is much less expensive than either a traditional law firm or an in-house counsel. We happen to believe that it also almost always represents a better value proposition. We also operate on a month-to-month -month engagement. We never ask our clients for long-term commitments, so our clients keep us around only as long as we are truly adding value. We spend zero energy worrying about how many hours we can bill you so we can focus on making sure we are helping your business grow. We provide dedicated senior counsel. Our seasoned general counsels typically can handle something like 90% of the legal issues most companies face. We can almost always bring your total legal spending down significantly and simultaneously increase the quality of legal support you're receiving. Legal management. Our fundamental role is to provide a single point of contact to manage your legal affairs. That includes managing your legal spending, including managing outside counsel relationships to ensure that your law firms operate at the highest level and are also accountable for cost effectiveness. Finally, accessibility. Your outside general counsel is available 24 seven to your senior management team and can be available to be on site or travel as needed. And because we've eliminated the billable hour, you and your team will take advantage of those five minute consultations that you know you should be having with a good business lawyer. Obviously, I think a lot of companies should be considering an outside general counsel to manage their legal function. If your company is not ready to hire a full-time in-house counsel, but you need something more than you're getting from your traditional law firms, I'd encourage you to look into retaining an outside general counsel for your business. Thanks for watching the Business Law Bootcamp. We'll see you next time.